BBC Radio Berkshire. We're inside Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. We're not just here to have a look around, we're here to help British Airways turn around one of its domestic flights. And I'm helping Keith here, who is a turnaround manager. Chris, thanks for coming to give me a hand. Hello. I appreciate it. Now, you are from Yately. I am indeed. On the Berkshire border, uh, but you spend an awful lot of your time right here turning around these aircraft. I'm going to be helping you out with that you in a are. moment. What you exactly are. do we have to do and how long do we have to do it in? What we're going to do is we're going to go and meet uh, an Airbus, an A319, that's coming in from Brussels. I think, uh, and we're going to turn it round and send it off to Geneva in 40 minutes. Passengers off, clean the aircraft, passengers on, change of crew, fuel the aircraft. And what's your record like? How punctual are you normally? I'm pretty good. OK, so no pressure. So this is our plane coming in here then, now. with a, with with a, a red, red nose. nose. How about that? Brilliant. How about that? We didn't do that especially, but that's great. So Keith's just walked over to put the chocks underneath the wheels. It's a small Airbus, A319, the kind of thing that you'd use to go off on holiday somewhere in Europe. The engines are just powering down and we're about to start going on board. So Keith, your next job is to drive the jetty in, is it? It is, yes. Yeah, the um... checking staff are there, so I know the doors are open at the top. So um, we'll get the jetty on, get everybody off. Is this tricky, Keith, to do? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you just have to know how your aircraft doors open so that the doors will open without fouling anything. Yeah. Hiya. Hello there. Oh, hello. No special. No special. It's good. There we are. Thank you. Uh, the yellow vehicle there are the caterers. So they're decatering and then catering with the fresh uh, food. There's the fueler, he's just arrived. The vehicle in the back are the cleaners. So as the passengers disembark, the cleaners literally follow them up the cabin, cleaning as they go. It's the quickest way of doing it. So, so it's all happening. So around the plane at the moment, we've got some of the flight crew doing some safety checks. I can see a man there looking up into the landing gear to check that that's all working. And I'm just following Keith over to the fuel truck, which is under the left-hand wing. How long does it take to fuel a plane, Keith? This will take about 15 minutes. But we can, we can carry on with everything else while he's refueling. But now we're going to go back upstairs because time's getting on. So on we go to the Airbus. Yes. Hello, Jeff. Everybody's just come off. Good, Jeff. Thanks. How are you? We're, again, we're in luck. This is, this is the... the um, Short haul fleet, lots of the aircraft have been refurbished recently. This is one of the new cabins. It's very clean. They've done a very good job of, uh, of getting all the, the rubbish off from the last flight before this one goes off to Geneva. Uh, around about sort of 100 people or so will be getting on this plane in a few minutes' time and then heading off to Switzerland. So, Keith, how are we time wise? Well, we're getting a little bit tight actually. Um, but we are boarding now. Passengers are on their way down to us. Got your fuel, which was 6.2, wasn't it? And there we are, about 100 passengers. No swaps. Okay. We've got engineers just coming out to have a look at the bottom of the aircraft. A few little screws and stuff leaks. So oh, right, okay. They're going to send someone out to quickly as possible, but then we've only got 15 minutes. So. Okay, they're only there anyway, aren't they? So, good. Yeah, thanks. So you can see Keith over here just wandering over to, to check everything is okay on the flight. As he said just now, it's getting quite tight because the passengers are still up in this lounge behind us here. We've still got to get them on board, get them all on board, get their bags in the overhead lockers and that kind of thing. And looming overhead, ever present, I don't know whether you can see that up there, is a countdown clock just above where it says 518 and it's showing six minutes until this flight leaves. So Keith's got a bit of, uh, bit of stress on his shoulders now and he's just waiting to get everybody on board. He's got no control over what the passengers do and how quickly they get on. That's the job of the stewards on board the plane. Apparently, the pilot has radioed down for an engineer to uh, check something underneath the flight. And we can see here that the tug is ready to push it back towards the runway. There's no reverse gear on an aircraft, of course. So, Keith, what's the latest situation then? We've got about two minutes before the flight leaves. It means we've got to run upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> These are the last two passengers coming down. And there's a bit of a queue. This is where you want to do your Tokyo Underground bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice to see you. Bye bye. bye. Have a good flight. Keith, I'm just looking right. at the countdown clock there. Don't look at that countdown clock. Plus one minute. <laughs> Don't look at that clock. Oh dear. Um, we actually get two minutes and 59 seconds grace. So I'm rather hoping we're going to be within that two minutes and 59 seconds. There he goes. There we go. The wheels are rolling. Fuel's on board. Passengers on board. Bags on board. Starting one engine. It's ready to go. He's gone. He's gone. Now go and send him his figures. So he can then in input the... Um, then he'll know how, exactly the weight of the aircraft and how the aircraft is balanced and set his controls. So I'd better go and do that now while he's taxiing it back. When, when you see that, all of your hard work and everybody else... Right. Gone. That's good. That's, that's a good feeling, especially when he goes on time, which is not quite the case now. But when, when, when you get a schedule and it's been a really difficult flight, it's, it, it's very satisfying. Thank you for letting us come me. along. I hope we didn't slow you down too much. Not too much. Chris, let's go and send you fears. Well, there we go. The passengers are on, the fuel's loaded, the safety checks are done, the bags have been loaded. Keith and his team have done a great job. The flight's leaving a little bit late. That might have been our fault for slowing him down. But the flight is now ready to go, and that Airbus with its bright red comic relief nose is off to Geneva. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come on.